Hello YouTube, welcome back to another how to ski instructional video. In this video, we're gonna break down and develop why we have our poles, okay? And how we can use our poles to help us develop our skiing in all sorts of terrain. So what we're trying to achieve, the outcome of using our poles, first of all, is that we're using all pieces of our equipment properly and efficiently. The reason why we want to use our poles efficiently, the benefit of them, is that they help us stabilize our upper body. They provide a third point or an extra point of contact with the snow once we get the pole to touch into the snow. So that helps us stabilize the upper body. Another reason is it helps us time uh, the transition. It helps us time our movement from one turn to the next a little more um, easily, a little more efficiently. Another benefit is it also helps us coordinate our movements together when we're using the pole swing. So the timing of the pole swing typically happens through the second half of the turn and there's still some skiing or you know some completing of the turn that needs to happen and so the pole swing can help us coordinate the timing of those movements together. If this is the first time that you're thinking of using your poles then we've got to start with our hand or arm position. Feel as though you've got your hands in your jacket pocket and then you reach your hands out wide. So your wrist will be a bit wider than your elbow, your elbow will be a bit wider than your shoulder. You sort of end up in this position here. Understanding the timing of when to use a pole plant or a pole touch is fundamentally important to using the poles efficiently. Now a pole touch should happen somewhere in the release phase of the turn. So the release phase is when you are trying to flatten the ski, essentially have your body uh, transition from that turn into the next. The slower you're going and the larger the turn, the further towards the end of the release phase, you're going to have the pole come in contact and touch the snow. If you're skiing a short turn, bumps, something steeper, faster, then you will need to have your pole touch happen earlier in the release phase. How we get the pole to contact the snow, okay, if I'm swinging my pole here, it's not gonna hit the ground. So what I need to do is I need to combine a pole swing with flexion in my legs, so a bit of bending in my legs. Okay, and as I bend my legs, I'm going to a little bit of edging as well. Okay, and this movement here is how I get the pole to come down to the snow. The thing we should really try and avoid, okay, is letting go of the pole with your grip. So you end up just holding it with your thumb, thumb and fourth forefinger. That's what we want to try and avoid and an extension of the arm. So grip the poles nice and tight. And as we swing, we use, use some flexion or some bending in the legs to get the pole to contact the snow. Once we've pole planted and we ski past, we wanna make sure that the hand stays beside us, that it doesn't get dropped back like so. Okay, so once you've pole plant and we move forward, we wanna make sure that we pole plant and then the hand stays beside us like this, helping us stay balanced with the upper body and control with the upper body. When we're skiing in more advanced situations and conditions like steep slopes, off-piste, bumps, trying to ski dynamic short turns on piste, we want to use our pole touch to really help anchor and stabilize our upper body. And a cue that we can use to help this is to line our pole touch up with the ski boot, with the outside ski boot. And in really steep situations, you will want to line the pole touch out up with the heel of the outside ski boot. This helps us open up our body towards the full line and it can help us maintain, you know, balance and alignment on the outside ski when we are in tricky, steep situations. So here's a little triangle from the binding, okay, up to the tip of the ski. Okay, and what we can think of, all right, is there are, there are sort of sections here, okay? Right, there are sort of sections. So on a green sort of gentle run, we maybe sort of pole plant here, quite close to the front of the ski. As it gets steeper, maybe more open. And then as we get really steep, we're pole planting in line with the heel, okay? So you can use this as a little visual cue to help you understand uh, how and where to plant your pole. When skiing at high speeds in a larger turn radius, trying to carve the ski, 
it's not necessary to actually touch or plant the pole because what that can do is that can cause like a breaking or a blocking action uh, and when you're traveling at high speeds that could be quite dangerous so just having the poles either side of you really like lengthening your wingspan really helps you maintain some balance and stability at high speed and just the action of swinging the pole uh, through and forward to help keep your body aligned to the direction of travel that the ski is taking uh, or just having the pole drag alongside you can really be all you need uh, at high speeds with your poles. Thank you for watching all the way to the end of the video. If you've liked the content and what you've watched today, then please hit that like button, leave some comments and subscribe to the channel for more videos as they're released. If you'd like to take a personal approach to develop your skiing, then don't hesitate, reach out, find me an email, okay? And, uh, and we can try and book in your private experience. Thank you all until next time.